Creo ANSYS provides many structural loads and constraints to choose from to give the user the desired features to properly simulate their design. For this housing, let's use a fixed constraint to hold the back wall stationary. Next, we will use the force command to add three forces that are acting on this housing. You can use different geometry to apply the forces needed and work within your desired units. You can choose between direction or magnitude and direction for your force. Additionally, you can use remote points to apply your force if needed. Next, let's simulate this flange with a combination of boundary conditions. First, we will hold the top hole fixed so it can't move in any direction. Second, we are going to use the displacement command. This is a very powerful boundary condition to provide control over degrees of freedom in your design. Here, we are going to use a remote point and give a displacement value of X while allowing Y and Z to be free. As you can see, this boundary condition is very useful for providing the user precise control over their desired translations and rotations. Next, let's add a force load in the bottom hole in the negative X direction. And lastly, this flange is held up against a flat surface, so we will apply a frictionless constraint to the back wall so it doesn't move out of plane. Now we are ready to solve. We click on run and wait a few seconds. When it's complete, let's request a few more advanced results and then click update results. We can now see the results in a few windows. Creo ANSYS provides the user with a large list of boundary conditions to capture the physical behavior that a product goes through in real life.